that would chirp to let me know that the fob was still in there and it would not lock. So it was warning you, you're about to walk away with your car unlocked and your keys in it. So your car is Christine. It was a little bit Christine-ish. <laughs> Sean, did you get that reference? No. Yeah. Am I supposed to? Uh, yeah, I think so, but uh, you're probably not into Stephen King, so that's fine. Uh, I am in the Stevie Nick, though. Oh, God. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? He just recently discovered who she is she's, with she's the Fleetwood nice, Mac discussion. She's not a nice person, Sean. Yeah, tell her your tell oh, everybody your Stevie Nicks story. Yes, tell everybody your Stevie Nicks story. <laughs> yeah, she's she's just not nice. All well, the you time. can't you can't stop there. Oh, she got snow. This uh, is. Do you remember last time they were here in Des Moines? Uh, is that where they had to stop their concert short? Is that no? That was no, no. Okay, no, they, they went rocked all the way through. It was a great concert. Okay. But, uh, when they got done, there was one of those sideways snow nights. Okay. Uh, the place is packed, and uh, it, and it was you know decent going in, but when they came out, it was sideways snow. It was miserable, and uh, her plane couldn't blast off when she wanted it to, and apparently that was the police fault. Because you didn't get her to the airport fast enough. No, just because the airplane couldn't lift off, she was just screaming and cussing everybody out. I need to get out of this godforsaken city. It was. It was Paul's fault that it was snowing, did you and he her, needed to make it stop immediately. Did you give her an escort to the to the airport? God, no. I just shrugged my shoulders and said, "Snow." <laughs> what, what do you do? Yeah, really. Oh, do you want to go up? Do you, have you ever heard of Richie Valens and and in the Big Bopper? And that just happened a little far. Yeah, that's an Iowa snow. landmark. Yes. Yeah. We'll divot in the ground. Do you there. know the history of rock stars taking off in the snow <laughs> in Iowa? Hey, maybe she wanted the airport named after her here. <laughs> Stevie Nicks International Airport. <laughs> Two eight four five nine six six. It is Ask Five O Anything. Brought to you by Croto. Jeff, you start things off by asking Five O Anything. Joel, Jeff, Jeff, Joel, Jeff, Jeff. It's Jeff. It's Jeff. <laughs> Hi. Since we just said that, we know. Go ahead. Sorry, there's a little hesitation. There's some sort of fuzz when you guys go and pick the phone up, and then there's a, some dead air. So. I couldn't hear you for a second. All right. I uh, actually, I'll get the five out here in just a second. I want to talk to Sean. I'm just coming unglued about the fact that he says, "Oh, I hate walks." Sometimes I don't even know what he. I don't even think he knows what he says. You know, you want to tell a, uh, you want to tell some of the best uh, leadoff hitters in baseball that that uh, you hate walks, or uh, uh, Billy Bean, who's made a living uh, uh, finding guys who can get on base. There's this thing called on base percentage. That's a beautiful so, thing, isn't it, Jeff? It is a beautiful OBP. thing. OBP. It's a great yeah. thing. How many times have, uh, after the first inning, after the first inning, it's been one nothing or 2 nothing because guys have gotten on base. You're yeah, playing in know. some beer league where guys where guys are hitting 600, and, uh, you know, and, and, it was in, and, and seeing if they can, you know, how far they can hit the ball. I hate walks. Oh, I hate walks. 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 walks. Yes, yeah. but. If now, now, Jeff, well, I think what we meant like that is that, <laughs> There's nothing fulfilling about taking a walk. And when what? You, what do you mean fulfilling? You get a, then you get a stolen base. Just the guy that walks and There's nothing that fulfilling. Is. There's nothing fulfilling about a 12 pitch, a 12 pitch at bat, and then walking back after a 12 pitch at bat, striking out. There's and then after a 12 that, pitch no. at bat, you get on base. You get on base and be like, your first base coach is like, great at bat. Well, okay, let's go get, let's go get, uh, go pick up this run. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I, I'm gonna, I know what you're saying here. I'm just saying. Personally, I know how it helps the team, but personally, I would rather strike out at a really good pitch than take a walk. Wow, boy. Jeff, I, wow. Want, you I want either one boy. of you on my base. No, you're done. Heather, you're on my team. I want 5-0. Well, you're talking to a championship player here, Jeff. So. Oh, yeah, championship player, yeah. The Grandview, uh, the NAIA, uh, wow. the regional, regional championship player of what, your A's league or wherever you play, your championship player? <laughs> Okay, Jeff. Uh, up there, uh, uh, outside Jeff, you take, uh, in Nevada, you take Iowa. Slow pitch softball. You seem like uh, a walks guy in slow pitch softball. Oh, now we're talking slow pitch softball. God, where do you? Oh, now we're on tangents of slow pitch softball. I don't. I don't even want to talk about slow pitch softball. We were talking about baseball and taking a walk. And you like to strike out. That's great. Go ahead and strike out I, all I you want. I'd rather get on, base, get on base, pick up a run, get on base. And and help my team with with a great at bat. I can understand where you can be like, okay, you know, yeah, I, I that was a pretty good at bat. But nothing's worse than for me getting 
being like, man, I just missed a couple pitches there. Now I got to walk back to the dugout after striking out. Nobody, right. nobody get past me in the past me in the butt. Walking back in the dugout, going great at bat, you struck out. You need to stop yeah. sh talking, Sean. Did you have a question for Fino? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, you guys. You know, I can't ask all the time. Like I'm Sean. sure. It's, I'm sure it's been asked. You know, fifteen times or fifteen hundred times, whether or not I've been a, got a big debate with a friend that the traffic lights, especially the one on two thirty five that we all talk about uh, near Roosevelt High School, wherever that, wherever it is, I always look for it. I can't find. I think it's on. There's a big Bull sign Boulevard. with red flags that says it's right here. Okay. Okay. Great. I'll look for it. Yeah, then. but you know what, Jason? I'm right there with you because when I come into town on Saturdays, I always look to see where the Jason, camera is. Jason, his name's Jeff. Oh, it's at. Yeah. It, it looks like it a on the pedestrian bridge. No, it's no, it's, it's right before. Hey, if you, shh. it's in the right where the, there's a sign there with big red flags, and then the next traffic, the next sign that has like the exits and the IT, the overhead sign above the freeway. There's a little uh -huh. thing that looks like a satellite dish. That's it. Okay, but my friend says you don't have to pay those. <laughs> well, you know, if you don't pay four of them, you get to ride a bicycle. Well, and that's <laughs> what, my thing was, I got one in uh, at 128th and Hickman Street. Uh, Hickman Ave, whatever you call it, Hickman Avenue or Hickman out in Clive, and uh, I couldn't get my license renewed or my my license plates uh, yeah, renewed they'll, they'll until I paid. Yep. Yeah, they put the hold on it, and I'm like, you gotta pay those. You have to pay. Them. No, you don't. You don't have to pay those. No. Okay. Yeah, you win that bet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, I'm probably gonna need to record this or something or find this on on iHeartRadio on a podcast or something and. Uh. And uh, let him know that. So, Just tell him to read the back. He, he's got he'll sell right on there what he has to do or what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got to pay those. This, this is done. I yeah, want what like, Jeff is having this morning. How much coffee have you had? I've been waiting Jeez. on hold for I've been waiting on hold for ten minutes. Uh, and you know, it feels like ten minutes. It probably wasn't ten minutes, but that was pretty it was anyway, close. I've been waiting on hold just to just to wring Sean's neck uh, this morning again for. For that. So anyway, um, one more thing, one yeah. more thing, and I'll let you guys go. Heather, you didn't okay. flinch when you picked Iowa State last Thursday or Friday, and you got a from Travis. I did not. Yes, you did, Travis. You really went like that, and <laughs> Heather didn't flinch. And she Hold didn't on. say it as an Uber fan. She didn't say it as Uber a, fan. a fan for Iowa State. She Fucking simply said flight. it as an educated person cheering for the Iowa State Cyclones. Like, I, I, they got a chance to win down there, and you gave her a – you gave her an exhale, and uh, I got to call Heather for uh, for not flinching. So you guys have a great day. Dude, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <sighs> he finished strong. He did. I'm worn out. Wow, <laughs> I am too. I feel like I've been on a treadmill for ten minutes. <laughs> you know he's, he's having. I, I have a feeling this next question might be pot related. <laughs> I could be wrong, but it might be pot related. Reverend Ray, first of all, I got to ask you because you're a regular listener of KXNO. And we've been running the High Times investment ads. Have you invested in the High Times yet? Wait, uh, up. Hold on. Uh, my bong was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I actually believe that? <laughs> so, Reverend Ray, have you, did he just take another one? Have, did you uh, did you invest in High Times yet, Reverend Ray? No, but I heard I heard the ad though on the uh, iHeart Radio on the bumper uh, yeah. on the commercials. And, uh, hey, I was just going to mention that, Travis, because, uh, you know, you're saying you're off your meds and all that because whatnot. I'm, I've never been on meds other than I know, I, I've been on uh, meds once, once. I didn't like it. But, uh, you know, they want to put me on them, but I suffer from a lot of this stuff, uh, similar to you with the men's depressors and everything, but uh, along with the MS and PTSD. But uh, moving forward. Uh, yeah, but you and I are completely my, different, Travis. With my question for 5 -0, well, you guys got the melatonin gummy commercials going on in the high heart, too. Really? Okay, what's yeah, the question yeah. five All right, the question is, uh, how would you feel about uh, finding uh, kids over 12 for uh, trick-or-treating, like they're doing out in Chesapeake, Virginia? Because I know you guys were successful uh, with uh, handing out uh, fines for fireworks. <laughs> we didn't hand out any fines for fireworks. Uh, he's, oh! he is so, he's off his rocker. He is fixated on the fireworks crap. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> But okay, Santa, there, there so that was bowling, just, just, I think they must be saying that you can't, you cannot trick or treat if you're over the age of twelve, and they're yeah. passing out tickets if you do. I'd be surprised if they actually hand out a ticket, just like us in the fireworks. You know, it's it's all about determining. That's just stupid. That's that, really that plus, stupid. Plus, how are you going to determine if a kid is twelve and under? It's not like I'd they rather. can show you their driver's license. <laughs> you have to carry around your birth certificate when you go trick or treating in this neighborhood. Count. I think it'd be more worthy to. Uh, find guys that are over 18 that take ball gloves to baseball games. 
<laughs> Both. Oh. Probably one of those guys. <laughs> Sean, have you never taken a glove to a baseball game? Not since I was a little guy. Really? That's reserved for little kids. Yeah, it's a little kid thing, man. Yeah, and I don't, don't seem to have a violent it. problem with it. Uh, we're already getting some input about Jeff. Uh, Matt says, who knew walks are such a controversial subject? Jeff needs some relaxing breathing. Jen says, someone please take the coffee away from Jeff. I'm tired of just listening, or I'm tired from just listening to him. Red Bull is not for everyone. I loved it. Fired up. I like his passion. Uh, I like the internet. Matt wanted me to say that you should follow him. He might have some road rage. <laughs> I've got a question for Five O. Yo. Is the Des Moines Police Department going to partake in the Pink Patch Project? I don't think so. Why? I don't know, I think it's do you not Do you not support cancer survivors? Sure we do. And as a matter of fact, the girl cops are awesome right now. They've got their cancer campaign going to fill the chemo 